Good day kids, I hope you're all going fine today. So today, I'm going to share to you three essential lessons in English. Are you ready? Let's start! So kids, the three lessons that I'm going to share to you are verbals, preposition, and adjectives. So we're going to tackle first about verbals. So what is verbals? A verbal is a verb form that does not function as a verb. Verbal functions as nouns, adjectives, or adverbs. So there are three types of verbal. First is gerunds, second participles, and third is infinitives. So, when we see gerunds, it always ends in ing, and it always functions as nouns. An example for this is, cooking is an essential skill. So, cooking here is a gerund for, from the verb to cook. In this example, it is functioning as a noun. So, the next one is participles. So, when we say participles, it always functions as adjectives and it has two types the past participles and present participles so the example for present participles is where is the boiling water so the boiling here serves as the adjective and it is in present form an example for past participle is where is the broken chair? The word broken here is the past participle of the verb to break. And it also serves as a adjective. The third and last type of verbals is infinitives. So when we say infinitives, it always functions as nouns, adjective, or adverb. So the example for this is Jack is going home to vote. So the word to vote here is the infinitive form of the verb to vote. In this example, it is functioning as an adverb telling us why Jack is going home. So the next lesson that I'm going to share to you is preposition. So what is preposition? A preposition is a word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. They act to connect the people, objects, time, and locations of a sentence. So, I have here two examples in of preposition. So, the, the first one is, I prefer to read in the library. So, the preposition here is the word in. Second example is he swam across the pool. The preposition here is the word across. So let's move on to the next and last topic which is adjective. So what is adjective? An adjective is a word that modifies or describes a noun or pronoun. Adjectives can be used to describe the qualities of someone or something independently or in comparison to something else. Example for this is, I like old houses. The adjective in here in the sentence is old, which describes houses, old houses. The second example is, the boy is tall and skinny. The adjective in the sentence is tall and skinny, which describes the boy. The next example is Jane is smarter than her brother. The adjective in the sentence is smarter, which describes Jane is smarter than her brother. So that's all for now, kids. I hope you learned something from this lesson. Bye bye.